today I'm going to be showing you how to make a crinoline rose which you could use in the centerpiece of headpieces. So you're going to need your crinoline, your scissors, a needle and thread. So you begin by cutting a length of crinoline that you need. I have a pre-cut piece here, but 8 inches of crinoline will do. Now you can see I have some stitching here at the end of mine that was just from working on another piece. So I'm just going to cut that off. And I'm just going to show you how to start. So first you're going to need to secure your needle and thread. So you're going to use a double thread with a knot at the end. I'm just going to start by gathering in my crinoline raw edge and I'm going to use my needle and thread and I'm going to bring my needle in through the crinoline and I'm going to gently pull it until it gets to the end where the knot is. At this point I'm going to repeat by wrapping my thread around the end and then bringing the needle back through again. So you're creating just like a little kind of stem, like a little secure end to start. This will be like the very center of your rose bud of the crinoline. So you can see I'm just bringing my thread through and I'm going to repeat that process and keep on wrapping it around. So I feel that's nice and secure. I'm then going to get my crinoline and I'm going to fold it over. So you have the two raw edges down facing down on the left hand side and then you have your nice pleated fold going up. So I'm going to start, what I want to do is you want to bring that in so that it becomes the centre bud of your flower. So I'm going to twist it right in there and this is quite finicky. The whole thing is so you're just kind of tweaking and moving your hands around and just trying to get it right. So I'm going to bring my needle in through the very centre of the stitches and then twist it inwards and pull it in through. I'm just secure that then with my needle and thread. And as you can see there I'm just trying to get the shape. I'm bending it downwards and inwards towards the ends and then I am just going to twist it around and I'm going to pleat outwards towards the back then I'm going to get my needle and thread again and I'm going to bring that through and secure it. So you can see now I've just secured that a few times because you just really want it to hold because that's the starting point of your rose you don't want that at any point to spring out because you'll have to start again. So again I'm repeating the exact same process. So I'm twisting inwards to create the rose and then I'm pleating backwards and outwards and stitching that and securing and you're going to repeat that process the entire way through until you get to the very end when you've got about an inch, inch and a half left of crinoline. as well here the whole time I'm checking just to make sure that it's holding its shape and it's taking the shape that I want it. Like you can see the two layers should be really folded over quite evenly so I need to pull that second layer just down a bit. So you're always just stitching, tweaking and just have a look make sure you're happy before you secure it with some stitches. Now here I have about an inch and a half left of crinoline so you're going to start pleating at this point and you're going to gather the end of your raw edge inwards and you're going to hold with your fingers and then you're going to twist it around and hold it down at the end to secure and then once you feel you're holding that you get your needle and thread and you're going to bring the needle in through and secure it through here and just stitch on. 
now you're going to have to do quite a few stitches here just to really hold it because you don't want it all opening up again so i'm going to bring the needle and thread here a few times and then i'm going to bring my thread around to the other side and just secure it from the other side as well just so that you're really kind of creating just a little base the end of the rows all of that stitch work will be hidden when you put it into the center piece of any headpiece or fascinator that you use that you use it in you might be adding quite a few roses so you'll be able to overlap them so you won't see any of that stitch work There you have it, your very own Quinlan Rose that can be used in the centerpiece of headpieces, fascinators. Hope you enjoyed.